Mars is the world next door, the fourth planet from the sun. So Mars is kind of the Goldilocks planet. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's just right. If it was too big, it would have retained a lot of activity and erased all the, the evidence that we're looking for. That's what she said. If it was too small, it never would have undergone the same processes that formed the Earth, and so it's really just right. And quite likely the first planet on which human explorers will one day land. In the way that science fiction often becomes reality, Mars is now a prime candidate for future manned exploration and even colonization. Women are from Venus and men are from Mars. I am Thor, I'm from Jupiter. If you wanted that to rhyme, you were now disappointed. Okay, great. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. I'm glad you're here still with me. Back in the 1500s, Nostradamus said, in 1999, terror will reign from the sky, and Mars will rule happily ever after. Well, people bag on Nostradamus, science can't explain it, but that motherfucker was right. Because Mars, we've had war nonstop, it's ingrained in everybody's hearts and minds. People think war now is like oxygen and that life on planet Earth could not exist without war. Maybe that's true of the currency in its current state, but money is not life. So, and NASA has been absolutely, all-encompassingly obsessed with Mars. The dead planet, bring it back to life. So here we are, let's learn some interesting facts about planet Mars. Let's see how many of them we didn't know. You know, because they talk about Mars all the time, so I'm looking for new, new information. February 13th, 2015, Elizabeth Howell. She was on Gilligan's Island. It was very beloved by most of America. All right, right here, it's where the Great Bomb went off, ripped off the entire atmosphere, everybody died in there, which I'm trying to get us to avoid on Earth. Over here, we have the giant volcanoes, and then Olympus Mons, round back. Mars is a constant point of discussion for space explorers around the world. I agree, it's Mars, 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 Mars. We've sent dozens of spacecraft there to study it, and plan to send dozens more. It's almost like Mars is the only planet in the solar system. And we never talk about Venus. Compare and contrast Venus and Mars. For whatever reason, we're just not that interested in Venus. Women. See, the women of science always complain that the men of science are total jerks, chauvinistic, they never get treated fairly. This would be a giant metaphor saying they're correct because science has no probes on Venus at the moment, which is like Earth's twin planet and it has an atmosphere, it has volcanoes, it's got a bunch of cool shit. Science like, oh, it's too hard. Much in the same way they're like, oh, the moon's too hard. <laughs> but Mars, though, fucking putting people on Mars, keeping them alive, that's easy. It's way easier than exploring the moon or exploring Venus or putting a man on the moon. And science was like, hey, yeah, the, the moon is too expensive. And then they spend... 10 billion dollars in the James Webb telescope. That's hilarious. Mars had water in the ancient past. I knew that. Man, we all, like I was saying, it was an Earth-like planet, and then there were World War III, which is much like ours. You had science versus religion versus people versus Skynet, and when it all came to shit hitting the fan, instead of a hundred year truce, they went for war. And so the war of technology ripped the atmosphere off, everything died, and is still dead. Asterisk. We might have recovered a biochip back in the day, from Mars that was technically alive, but a computer at the same time, which is why the monolith has taken over science, and why we've been so Mars fascinated. So, interesting fact number one, Mars had ancient water in the past. We knew that. Interesting fact number two, Mars has frozen water today. We also knew that as well, because they rarely take photographs of the water parts on Mars. Why? Same reason they do what they do. They're weird and super secretive, like you drop the A in there with the NSA. It's for them to know and you to never find out. We're very interested. In the question of water because it implies habitability and so they don't show us a lot of water for whatever reason we haven't gone and scooped up the water yet as far as I know and tested it I mean I'm sure we have I'm just saying I haven't told the public so yeah we knew although some scientists would say that's not water that's uh, methane or just frost it's pure frost hey three Mars used to have a thicker atmosphere duh that's why we sent maven another billion dollar satellite over to Mars to check out its atmosphere that it has now, which is probably thicker than they tell us, and figure out why they lost their thicker atmosphere. So you're 0 for 3, ma'am. Man, you're not representing Venus very well. Mars has some extreme highs and lows in terrain. Well, if they've watched Thor News' channel, I've gone into the Valles Marineris pretty in depth, because it's a pretty cool thing that a planet has a giant spear mark on the side of it, you know? And got Olympus Mons, one of my favorite mountains in the entire solar system. Made famous to me 
through The Watchmen by Alan Moore, which is an amazing graphic, crampy movie. I mean, there were parts of the movie that were good, but they scarlet lettered, <laughs> you know, the, the ending. Mars has two moons, terror and fear, Phobos and Deimos. I know, because when Mars has reigned since 1999, we've been reigned by terror and fear on Earth. You ever heard those words, terror, terrorism, terrorize? Fear, chaos, it's fear. Joker told us that. Mars has two moons, and one of them is doomed. Technically, everything is doomed in a rebirth cycle, only to be born again. So, yeah, I knew Mars had two moons. That's not really, what is this, second grade peace, man? No, 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 I don't want to be misunderstood. I hope you haters know most importantly. 